this is it done. And I'm going to make a little bit for myself here. Ooh, looking good. Nice. Got that nice golden. Nice. Nice. Really nice. Yeah, I, I want that little piece of cheese on there. Okay. So that is my portion. And this is like a little pasta bake with chicken and vegetable. There's no chicken in it, but there's chicken broth, peppers, broccoli, onion, red pepper. It's going in my mouth right now. Oh, wow. Really good. Really, really good. I can't wait to see what the lighting in here. Let me see. It's kind of golden. Yeah. Came up really nice. We got a lot of shadows going on, but it's delicious. So try this recipe again. It's 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 spaghetti, thin spaghetti. And I think I said three servings were like three hundred calories. I meant six. Two, four, six. Six hundred calories. Um chicken broth is homemade. I made it. It's bone broth. It was in the freezer, I defrosted it, so that's probably 100 calories. Only a splash of half and half. Like a splash, just to give it a little color. Um, so six, I'm going to say 720 with a tablespoon of olive oil, 820 with a tablespoon of butter, and then panko breadcrumbs, I'm going to say 70. I mean, like, it's under a thousand for that whole thing. For that whole thing, under a thousand calories. Two tablespoons of flour probably brought it up to like 1,100, somewhere around there. The peppers, the, the broccoli, the onion, nothing. The cheese that's in it was, I already counted that in, it was 110 because I didn't even have an ounce of cheese in it. And I used my little grater on top just to put a little tiny bit, a hand grater. It came up really delicious. So instead of using milk and all that cheese just take a little bit of your homemade chicken broth with your reserved pasta water and just a splash of two percent milk or half and half and your flour and just keep whisking it and add a little cheese to it not a lot and it's just as cheesy just as delicious the chicken broth makes it nice and rich the peppers in it really give it a nice flavor. I do have, again, the paprika in it, crushed red pepper, garlic, onion, um, sweet basil, oregano, and nutmeg, a little nutmeg and black pepper in my sauce. That's it. Okay. All done. <laughs> I hope you'll try this. Take care. Bye.